Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to another discussion about anime. Today, we will be talking about Mother of the Goddesses Dormitory. Or uh, it's like Megami Ryo no Ryobyokun, something like that. I could be pronouncing that horribly wrong. That's why I said it in English first. Anyway, this show ended today. And surprisingly, I was really surprised that it's only 10 episodes long. Um, so we're not even getting like a full season out of it, which is kind of a shame in my opinion. I definitely would have liked a little more of it. Um, but anyway, let me throw up the, the picture of it here. So as you can see, it's your traditional harem kind of anime, just from the, the screenshot here on the, on the picture on the back. Um, takes place in a, a very normal civilization. It's not like a fantasy or anything like that. It's just your typical kind of real world scenario. Well, real world scenario, not exactly. Uh, it, it's about Koshi, who's like a middle school student. Uh, he's 12 years old, apparently, which I was surprised about. I thought it was like at least like 15-ish or like 14 maybe, but no, straight up 12. Um, Honestly surprised me. Did not realize that uh, when I first made the, uh, the, the very first video for the season and whatnot. Anyway, so his house burns down and his dad, like, dips uh, because apparently he had, like, debt or something like that or um, his father didn't want to deal with, like, the house to bring. I don't know. Anyway, essentially, Koshi was abandoned and homeless, so he was, like, wandering the streets and whatnot, and he passes out from hunger, and the green-haired girl, Minerva, or not Minerva, it's uh, Minoru. I don't know why I call her Minerva. Uh, it's just easier to say, I guess. Minoru, she picks him up, takes him to the goddess's dormitory. Actually, the real name of it. I don't know why it's called the goddess's dormitory. It's weird, but like, I mean, they are goddesses. It makes sense. Anyway, takes him there and uh, is basically like gives him food and whatnot. And is like, hey, we'll let you stay here if you become our, our dorm mother. And whatnot, and uh, he, you know, agrees because he has nowhere else to go and whatnot. And the the main thing here in the show is that the pink-haired girl named Athena, she has problems with men, so she's against it right away. Like just the being near men makes her like very nervous and like just nosebleeds and stuff like that. She's very like uh, you know it's classic like afraid of men kind of thing. You know, she'll like pass out and get like weak and pale and all that kind of stuff just from being like around him and whatnot. So, you know, Koshi sees this and he's like, because yeah, Athena tries to run away first and Koshi's like, no, this is your home. I'll, I'll leave. And so he goes and sleeps on like this bench in like a park and Athena goes uh, guiltily and says, you know, you can stay here. We'll do our best, you know, that kind of thing. And so they start living together. And that's, that's basically the beginning, first episode and whatnot. Um, but the, the main thing of the show is that each of the girls here has a certain quirkiness to them that inevitably leads them to doing pervy things with Koshi. And I'll go through each of them. So, we have the main character, Athena, which is the pink-haired girl. Her quirk is she just you can't be around guys, you know. Pretty simple uh, and whatnot. So, the entire thing between them, or Athena and Koshi, is that she's trying to overcome her fear of men, and as time goes by, she inevitably does get a little bit better about it. Still, some things happen that, you know, uh, fucks with that. Uh, the next one, Minoru, the, the green-haired girl. She is, well, a mad scientist. That's the only way to put it. Um, she makes, like, drugs and stuff like that. Like, not like drug drugs, but like uh, like pharmaceutical drugs, kind of. And she frequently releases like toxic chemicals in the house and stuff like that from producing them. Like I said, mad scientist. She also makes uh, aphrodisiac and stuff like that, which comes into play various times. The next girl is Serene. She is the white haired girl in the bottom left corner there. And she is the, uh, is it, let me, let me make sure I got this right. I think it's Ku uh, Dere, but I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, 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 she's Kudere, the one who's like cold and blunt, kind of emotionless and whatnot, 
And she has this weird like alien vibe where she like has powers of the moon and stuff like that that comes into play sometimes. She does not have a whole lot of screen time, if I'm being honest. Of all the girls, she definitely has the least. Like, there's no real memorable scenes with her other than maybe one or two. And then after that, it's just, you know, she's just kind of a, a background character and whatnot. The, the next girl is Kiria. She's the red-haired girl. And she is the, the tomboy of the group. She grew up in a, uh, a martial arts dojo. And as such, has had lots of little brothers that she, like, fights with and whatnot. And so that's kind of her little gimmick there. Uh, the next girl is Frey, the blonde slash green tip hair girl. She's mostly just blonde. I think it's just the lighting in that picture there. But anyway, she has an obsession with cosplay. Wearing it, making people wear it, making it, all that kind of stuff. And uh, <clears throat> when I say these girls have quirks, I mean like it's to the extreme. And that's why they've been put in this goddess's dormitory where basically the misfits and the outcasts go. Uh, because Frey... If she sees someone who would look good in her cosplays, she strips them down and puts them in her cosplays uh, with, like, no regard to them. Serene is just weird and alien-like. Kyria is just over-the-top strong. Minoru, as you can guess, makes potions that you know, <laughs> fucks with people. And Athena is just kind of bad with men. Other than that, she has, like, no real bad characteristics. Um, but from the entire show, it seems for the most part that it's mainly about Koshi and Athena getting closer. Um, I should mention there's also a uh, another character. Uh, uh, I think it's Sutia is her name. It's S-U-T-E-A. Um, she is a, a childhood friend of Koshi. She's also in middle school. The rest of them are in college and whatnot. And she has uh, an aversion to heat. Um, she's very sensitive to heat. So just like even like a person touching her, um, like overheats her and whatnot and the way koshi got in good with her is one day oh i'm not gonna spoil that never mind uh, almost crossed that line there anyway so the whole thing is just a huge um uh like softcore porn kind of thing uh is, is softcore porn uh, i don't think it was softcore because softcore is more just like tame stuff right uh whereas this one would be like uh i don't know there's nudity there's just straight up nudity gonna have to throw that out there um in the first episode i think he just walks into the bath with like three of the girls and you can just straight up see their their nipples and all that stuff um not even censored and whatnot and it frequently comes up where one of the girls shirts will just like uh come off or a walk in on him and uh be naked or uh Frey is like taking off clothes to put on cosplay clothes stuff like that also, a lot of panty shots and all that good stuff. So, if that's up your jam, I mean, this is the, the show this season to uh, check out for that. Um, but like I said, it's only 10 episodes. They really could have done more with the two extra episodes. They could have made Athena and Koshi get closer. Um, they got pretty close in the 10 episodes, but I was looking for uh, them to actually make a connection, you know? But sadly, nothing. Damn. Anyway, <clears throat> that's pretty much the long and short of it, y'all. Uh, it was pretty good. I enjoyed it. It was definitely one that I was like, hey, yeah, I'm going to see some titties today. Hell yeah. But uh, no, it was genuinely good. Like, even if they took out, like, all the uh, the nudity, it would still be decent. Even if they took away, like, the, uh, the, uh, the etchy stuff where it's, like, the girls pressing their breasts against Koshi and the panty shots and all that kind of stuff, I think it would still be a decent show. Um, even if you kind of take that away, which is, is usually not how it goes for these kind of things. Usually if you take that stuff away, the story's kind of dry and bland, but it was, uh, it's really kind of a heartwarming tale of these college girls taking in a middle school 12-year-old boy to be their basically slave as he works and cooks and cleans, uh, the dormitory for them. Uh, <laughs> that's actually what it is. Like, uh, he's like, I need a place to stay. And they're like, okay, well, if you cook and you clean and you do laundry and you, like, sweep outside and all that, you can stay here. And so basically, they're just putting him to work. Ah, uh, but it's good shit. Anyway, check it out if you think you liked it. There's not really much I can say for spoilers for it that I uh, am into. 
or that I want to say. So I'm just going to cut it here uh, with a nice, short 10 minutes. Not bad. All right, y'all. Well, check this one out. Um, like I said, it's pretty good. And if you're into titties, well, <laughs> here you go. Uh, yeah, and cosplay, because Frey has a number of cosplays, and they're, they're great, too. So, <clears throat> yeah, throwing it out there. All right, next time, I don't know what we're going to be talking about, but next week is episode 12 for a lot of shows, meaning we'll be able to talk about a lot of them. And so I just want to point out, since we're getting into that area here, just a little bit of a wrap-up, you know. Um, I'm not going to be doing multiple reviews in a day, or at least releasing them into to YouTube here. I'll try to do at least one a day if I have to. Um, not at least one a day. I'll try to do one a day uh, at most. Uh, if not zero a day, if there's nothing out there, you know. But I just don't want to, like, send out 20 videos and spam everything, you know. So we'll just do, like, one here, one there, one there, and uh, all that good stuff. I do not know what the next one's going to be, because... You know how anime is. Sometimes they have 10 episodes. Sometimes they have 12. Sometimes they have 13 or 14. Uh, you know, it's just kind of... You never really know until you, uh, you can see it online. So, uh, <laughs> anyway, thank you all for listening. And uh, check out Mother of the Goddesses Dormitory if it seems up your alley. I quite enjoyed it. So, until next time, bye for now.